Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. We are going through Bitwig Studio 2 Drum Machine course, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at treating individual sounds as their own channels. So one of the, way, one of the best ways to vis visualize that is we've got our kick and snare that we were looking at in the previous tutorial. Uh, let's take a look at a way to consider each one of them changed so that we can treat the kick and the snare or any other sounds that we brought into our drum machine, we can treat those with different uh, audio effects, say EQ, compressors, and things like that, or delays, whatever we want to work with. So one of the best ways to visualize this is if we go over here to our mix view, and you see you've got two little down arrows now next to the drum machine showing that we've got samples loaded. If I click those, we open up our individual channels. We can audition the sounds if we want. And we can also solo and mute from this channel. We can pan, do the left, right pan if you want. And if we chose, we could click in the title of the sample and here it is loaded. Now I could go ahead from here and add an EQ if I wanted. And I can go ahead and start to treat my kick and EQ it any way you know I see fit for that particular sound or whatever sound I'm working on I can go ahead and begin any kind of audio treatment that's specific to that uh, sound and that channel only so that's one way to do it and I just wanted to show you from the mix view a way to visualize each sound as its own individual channel because what you can also do is from this side uh, this view you can you know add effects once I have the kick or snare or whatever I have selected, I have the kick selected here, I can add effects before or making sure that I'm staying within that particular row, that particular channel, I can add effects after just like we did before. I can go ahead and grab whatever uh, audio effects treatment I want to put on here. And this is going to again be specific to my kick because I've kept it within that channel see if I select snare the EQ is gone because we only put the EQ on the kick and it also indicates right here how many different effects have been added by the two uh, little squares right there on the line the snare just has the sample loaded the kick now has the sample and an EQ loaded so a couple quick visual tips to be able to see how many devices are loaded to each one so that is a way to treat each individual sound as its own channel and it's very important to understand that because that's where the power of something like the drum machine comes into play for you moving forward. So let's continue on in the course and take a look at a few other features that are going to help us build an awesome drum machine.